There are a lot of towns in the United States very much like this one. The drug stores are there, the haberdashers, the banks, hardware stores, and food shops. And in more than 400 of these towns, there's a YWCA. And to some people, it's just another building or a cafeteria or perhaps even a swimming pool. But it's more than just a place. It's an idea. And though this idea, this YW, belongs to millions, it belongs always to one individual, too. Like Erna Benink. To her, the YW is not only shelter, it is companionship. Not only companionship, but guidance and sympathy and hope. Yes, her membership is good in 69 countries. As it happens, she is from Holland. Her parents are still there. Lieve vader en moeder, ik ben blij dat u van de foto gaat. The picture of my room gives you some idea of where I live and work. I've plenty of neighbors and friends, girls like me with a job to do, working in factories and offices here in town. It gives me a good feeling to be here at the YW with others like myself. I have a sense of, of the house, uh, I mean belonging. After my working day at the bank, there are lots of things that I can do. There's modern dance, and I know I must keep fit. Everyone loves to dance. We all do all kinds of exercises for limbering and relaxing. We work on rhythms and improvisations. Most of all, we enjoy it. I'm looking in on several courses here. Sewing class solves the clothes problem. I can manage if I make some of my clothes and learn to do my own alterations. We have a sewing room in the residence where we can work during our spare time. Did I tell you? Alice Parker made her own wedding dress. In our kitchen, everything works overtime. We do our own cooking. We entertain our friends. And no complaints about the food yet. I made a rice tafel the other day, and Marina has promised us a goulash. World fellowship preparations have begun. Our packages, a present from each girl, are off to the Paris YW. And some of us are sending a special package of clothing to Holland. The quiet room is always open. There's an inscription which says, to build a fellowship of women and girls devoted to those ideals to which we're committed by our faith as Christians. Living and working with people here at the YW makes me sure I can work... Yes, the YW is more than a place, more than a building north, south, east, or west. It's an idea of helping others, the habit of getting along with others, the family, the stranger in town, people everywhere, is best learned in youth. And so is the habit of keeping healthy and strong. Hi, Jeannie. I'm writing this while Migsy rows me around. Well, it's hard to find a quiet spot on the lake because we swim whenever we can. We're working like mad on diving, and we're acquiring a lovely toasty suntan. Life-saving goes on every day, and I mean life-saving. There's a new riding counselor, and I have the sweetest horse with divine bangs called Rusty. Believe it or not, I'm taking care of him. Jamesy's back again teaching crafts. She's so patient and pleasant. You know, I like to hang around her, even if my fingers are a bunch of thumbs. Camp is really neat this summer. About half the kids are new. There's a French girl in my bunkhouse and a girl from India in Mixie. Remember the water fight? Boy, we've had some juicy ones this summer. The water tank, meanwhile, was getting lower and lower. Well, finally, we called a council. To bathe or not to bathe, that was the question. Well, fun is fun, but we had our beauty to think of. So, showers won. Listen, Jeannie, I've been thinking what to do at the YW this fall. One, 
take a degree in babysitting. Madam, I have a B.S. degree. Can I mind your child for you? Do you suppose there'll be another bar nun corral this year? I wonder if most of the old gang will be back. What have you been doing? Well, Barbara, Jane, and Denny are too lazy to write. But say hello. Mm, I wonder if I've forgotten anything. I guess not. Love and stuff. Susie. It used to be that men who came to the YW sort of sidled in the side door. But today it's different. The whole town walks in the front door of the YWCA. It's a part of the whole community. Very young gentlemen come, too. Dear Mary, now that you've moved to halfway across the country, I must send you a report. Jimmy seems to smell club day without benefit of calendar or clock. We start off together, but once inside the YW, we part. I to my work, he to his friends. Jimmy marches in, proud of his independence. Newcomers are not so sure. The nursery is a magic place of small tables and chairs, small-sized persons, too. A place to begin to learn how to get along with others. As for me, I have my holiday from apron strings. I start a workout in the gym, uh, slimnastics, we call it. All the exercises that I plan to do at home, but I never have the discipline. Molly and Catherine are learning to play bridge this year. Flower arrangement is a new project. The looms are always busy. Hand-woven things have a sturdy, homespun beauty. You always said that you felt there was something friendly about a loom. is over, I take my new figure to the pool. Mary, the clothes you sent went like hotcakes at the auction. Even babies in arms were bidding. The money we made goes toward the expenses of our delegate to a YWCA leadership training conference. Have you looked in on the young married group at your YW yet? I know that family life does come first, but you need a change in routine, too. I know. I remember my loneliness. Yes, the YW can be a relief from loneliness, but it can be many things to all people. It can be many things because behind the scenes in every Y, there are people who care, responsible people devoted to an idea. Yes, to the millions of people who come to the Ys of the world, it can be a place to serve, a place to learn, a place to have fun. But the YWCA is more than all these. It is an idea. It is a fellowship of girls and women in the community, in the nation, in the world. The YWCA is yours. It is your window to the world. Uh -huh.